So a couple of weeks ago, I uploaded a cinematic travel video that I edited and color graded in DaVinci Resolve. And every time I upload a video like that, there's always at least one person in the comments saying something like, oh, I wish I could do that in CapCut. Or is it possible to edit a video like that in CapCut? And well, yeah, of course it is. Okay, so I'm gonna break down that intro sequence and show you how I did all the effects and the transitions and even the color grading in CapCut. And I'm using the free version of CapCut for desktop, but there's also a mobile app if that interests you. And I'm also gonna keep everything fairly simple. Each and every one of you should be able to do it, but I am gonna skip the part of how I cut the clips and how I edit the video to the music, to the beat, because I have another CapCut video showing you all that, you know? So I'll link that video in the description in case you want to watch it first. Okay, let's do it. And let's start with that old projector effect. The sequence starts with it, but I also used it as a transition. And it's not a built-in CapCut transition, because you can actually very easily create your own effects and transitions. It's a very simple technique, and this is how it works. So first of all, you have to find the video overlay, which is basically a short video clip of something. Could be anything, an old projector, rain, smoke, anything. And for some overlays you have to pay, but some are free. So Google is your best friend here. Just type in free smoke video overlay, for example, or free old projector overlay, and you'll see that you can download plenty of overlays for free. And once you've found a video clip that you like, it's super simple. Just drop it on your timeline. You can put it at the start of the video or in between video clips. Or you can also put it on top of a video clip. And then it gets interesting because now when I set the blend mode of the overlay video clip here to screen, everything that's black becomes transparent. See, and you can see the video clip underneath. And this is what it would look like for smoke, for example. And this rain. See how that works? Video overlays, a simple technique to create your own effects. All you have to do is find a video clip that you like. And you can also combine your overlays with some of the built-in CapCut transitions. Transitions in CapCut is super simple. Just go to the transitions library here, pick one that you like and drop it on a cut. So this is the one I used a few times in that intro sequence, old film. And this is what it looks like on its own but I also combined it with my old projector overlay because then you can customize it and add some extra oomph to the transition. You know what I mean? And this is what it looks like then. So you already have a ton of built-in transitions in CapCut, but you can just customize them and tweak them to whatever you want with overlays. So you basically have an unlimited amount of effects and transitions. I'm not joking. The only limit is your imagination. And then we also have sound effects, of course. Do not ignore sound effects, ever. I repeat, do not ignore sound effects. Because, example, the transitions that I showed you, they look cool, right? But what they also do is, they sound cool. Because I added sound effects. I mean, you can, of course, use transitions without sound effects, but it will feel empty. And like I said before, just keep it simple. Simple sound design works best. So what I did, for example, is I found some sounds of an old projector and I just added them under the transitions. So instead of this, empty and boring, you get this. Do you feel the difference? You should. And there's a lot more. I also added seagull sounds, harbor sounds, a cruise ship horn, and it all adds body to the sequence body. Okay, and then another thing you can do is use some of the built-in CapCut effects. I always like to create some contrast between normal looking clips and then clips with an effect added. That's what I did here too. This for example is the retro film effect. There are a few different ones. I always like to mix and match, you know, depends on the music. And as you can see here, you can layer effects on top of each other. So here, for example, this is the retro film effect, but I also added a blur effect to the same clip. So I also made the clip go from 
out of focus blurry to in focus just to make it look a bit more dynamic but also listen very carefully because every cut has a sound effect okay and then we have color grading now do you have to color grade no of course not if you like the colors and the contrast of your video your image just leave it but just know that CapCut also has some basic tools to do some simple color grading I'll show you what I did how I went from this to this so first of all I'm gonna add a custom adjustment and see how it also creates a new layer for the adjustment so that means that all the adjustments that you do in that adjustment layer you can use for multiple clips just by extending that adjustment clip okay but anyway first thing I did was apply one of my LUTs here basic and then LUT so I've imported a bunch of my LUTs in CapCut and now I can see them here and just go over them until I see something I like for this intro I used retro vibe but of course you can just use your favorite LUTs that you already have and a LUT is basically a filter that you put on top of your video to make the colors and the contrast look a certain way it changes the colors and the contrast in a creative way for some LUTs you have to pay but some are free again Google is your best friend but CapCut also has some cool built-in filters I'll show you in a bit and so if that's enough for you just use those perfect but no matter what you use when you apply a LUT or a filter it usually needs some more adjustments so what I also did here in the curves I added some extra contrast you can use the top curve the white one here to adjust the contrast for example a classic way to add contrast is create an S shaped curve see a soft S and you can basically make it look however you want by tweaking the curve I also pulled the temperature slider here to the left to make the image look a bit cooler because you know it was shot in the morning and I wanted it to look a bit more blue and then you also have the red green and blue curve here and these curves allow you to add or remove colors simply put I mean you can do a lot more with them but I'm just gonna keep it simple now for example in my opinion it all looks a bit too green now so by pulling the green curve up here I will remove some green from the highlights and add magenta at the same time and down here it's the same but for the shadows so I'm gonna leave it something like this but you see how it works and you can basically do that for all the colors and then finally I want some more punch I could do it manually with all the tools and the techniques that I just showed you but you can layer effects and adjustments on top of each other remember so I just started experimenting with adding a filter on top of my manual adjustments I use this one here tan and it makes the color look more intense I liked it so I used it and guys there's no right or wrong here okay it's all super subjective if you like the colors and the contrast that's all that matters in the end and then finally the text effects super simple just look for something you like and drop it on your timeline on your video type in some text resize it and that's it a few super simple techniques effects transitions that you can use to bring your video to the top level all done in CapCut I hope you liked it thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one